Second quarter here in Brooklyn, Iron Eagle, Richard Jefferson, Michael Grady with us, and a special guest. It's KD. Well, Kevin Durant joining us here courtside. So fun. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Yes, that's fine. What's up, bro? It's good to Wait, see you over You guys, here. You guys know, know each know. other yeah. a little bit, huh? Yeah, well, he man. torched me a few times in the NBA Finals for <laughs> quite a few points. Yeah, I will say this, though. We were checking the numbers, and I personally held you under your career average. Uh, your career average is 27. I held you to 25 in the, the 20 games that we played. Really? I, yeah, I was actually surprised you too. You actually did a solid job on me until you got older. You're, then, you're, until I got older. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you know, <laughs> you know how that goes. I know a age is yeah. undefeated. What now. what did Kevin do against you defensively though? We also checked those numbers. Yeah, I was below my career average. I see. Twelve. He helped me I to see. eleven. <laughs> I saw that. You know, the, the length was a little bit of a problem, especially as I got older. Kevin, wow. you're going to answer this for the one millionth time. Yeah. How you feeling? <laughs> I feel all right. I feel all right. It's been uh, fun playing three on three with the guys yeah. every day. Okay. You're getting into that three on three yeah. action? Yeah, yeah. Are they allowed to foul you yet? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, they, especially Theo. He's a hat. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, we, we've seen it by his performance out on the court. <laughs> He is a hack. The good news is we don't have to talk anything about this game right now. But <laughs> tell, tell me what, you know, look, you had with your foot injury, you had a prolonged, you know, kind of timeout. But now you're a little bit older. You're you're more established. What is it that you kind of miss in that either you're surprised or or you knew you were going to miss during this time season off? I miss the routine. I miss getting up every day and just being one of the guys, going to practice, going to shoot rounds. It's, it's been difficult being away from the team. Uh, but, you know about nine months out, so I'm looking forward to, you know, getting back in the swing of things. Okay. What about this perspective? What can you take away from what you've seen as a spectator, which is a completely different viewpoint from where your mind normally is? Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at a game from a different lens, just seeing, you know, the landscape of the league. And, you know, definitely just looking at our team and seeing, you know, guys get better each and every day. You know, I'm seeing practice habits. I'm seeing, you know, how they transfer into the games. This is a different feel, I guess. Ooh. Off the knockaround, Jordan got hacked on the inside. When I look at Karis LeVert, I look at Spencer Dimwitty, Joe Harris, and you know, Jared Allen the entire time. I, I often say that when you add you and you add Kyrie to this mix, you have a lot of firepower, yeah. right? Is that something that you're looking forward to? Or are you already mentally, because I know you're two, three steps ahead, are you already looking mentally to how to incorporate that guys, make sure that they can keep their game? Because we know you're going to do what you do. Kyrie's going to do it. But just mentally, are you already trying to think about how to bring that group together? Yeah, most definitely. You know, you look at lineup switches and, you know, which, which guys can play well with each other in the game lineups, in the half lineups. So all that stuff I've been trying to figure out what's best you know, for myself and, and, and for the rest of the team. And, you know, having guys like Kerris, Kyrie, myself, Tori, and Spencer that can score the basketball is definitely going to make us unpredictable, so I'm looking forward to it. Do you see any similarities? Obviously, I know it's very different makeup with the shooting that you had in Golden State. Yeah. But do you see any similar similarities with, like, how you were able to switch and score across the line with multiple guys? Yeah, that team will never be duplicated. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. So, Thank God. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. It's I just said similarities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I feel, I feel like, you know, we had a, on that team, we had a couple of guys that were 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, that can switch and guard, like you said. Um, and, you know, we got Tori who's playing the four, myself, Kara, so I feel like are interchangeable. We can, you know, cause that uh, that havoc on defense. But it's going to take us some time to get there. Yeah. Kevin, how about the life adjustment, living in Brooklyn, being a part of this community? What did you expect, and what has the reality been for you? I expected a fast-paced lifestyle, you know. New York City, everything is moving pretty fast. Nobody sleeps. So, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a great sports town, though, and, and everybody's excited for the game of basketball. And, you know, it's a great place to you know, hold my skills. Prince attacking the rim and a major collision inside as Jackson takes the hit for Memphis. Turnover, Brooklyn. Low scoring game a indeed. Is this a charge? Oh, he's still moving. He's still moving. This is your personal call? That's Richard? my personal call. Kevin said the same thing. You guys couldn't hear him. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Kevin agrees with me more times than not. Um, Jump shot goes down for Tyus Jones. It's a three ball, and Memphis leads at 28 to 24. So, Kevin, you talk about the landscape of this league right now, and 
obviously it, it, there's a little bit more parity with all of the different guys. But do you feel like when you guys are healthy that you guys are the team to beat? Obviously, there's work to do. Yeah. But your level of confidence where, when you look at the Eastern Conference and even in the NBA, where you guys will stack up healthy? Yeah, yeah, I like, I mean, we're confident. We, we have some, we got players on this team that can, you know, definitely go out and have big nights any night. And um, when you have that talent on the floor, you give yourself a chance. And we got good coaching. We got, you know, great bench. And, you know, we're looking forward to just bringing that all together. It's going to be tough, you know, as, as we go on throughout the summer and the season to, kind of get that thing together. So it's always a process we're looking forward to. How about to see Karis LeVert last night? Your tweet obviously caught fire on the internet. Yeah. Your reaction just watching Karis go through it. Yeah, he, he tweeted it. You should probably follow him. That's going to count. 51 points for your teammate, yeah. Karis LeVert. Man, that was a that was a masterful game last night. I think he just put us on his back, you know, 14 points going into the fourth and then end up with 51. That's tough. That was, a, that was, a, yeah, that's that was tough. Kevin Durant style. I don't even know if I did something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It, every shot just looked amazing and it's happy for him. As well. Dunk it! Chioza having an impact once again for the Brooklyn Nets. Last night in Boston, helping to lead a 7-0 run here in the second quarter tonight. KD, we appreciate it, man. No Great seeing you. Appreciate no you. Good luck, Feel man. good. Yes, sir. All the best. Kevin Durant, nice enough to join us for a few minutes here on Yes. We'll come back.